Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a text mask. A lot of people want to put an image or picture inside a text, and this is the way you would go about it. First off, you have to place an image, and I just picked a Photoshop tutorial image of the sand dunes in the background. And in front of it, I created some text. Now, I'm going to recommend you pick a font that has a thick stem weight to it so that um, you can actually see the picture inside the, the text itself. You select the text, and you need to do something first to that text, convert it into artwork. So you're going to go underneath Type to create outlines. It's no longer editable text, but it views it as a piece of artwork. Now, there's one other essential step whenever you're dealing with text and you're using it as a mask. You have to compound it. In other words, you have to make this almost into a stencil or a cookie cutter. So you're going to go underneath the object menu down to compound path and make. You can see the keystroke shortcut for that, at least on a Mac, is Command-8, Control-8, I believe, on a PC. So I've got this text path outline now in front of a photograph. I want to select both items. I'm going to shift-click the picture and the text path. I'm going to go underneath Object, down to Clipping Mask, to Make. And you're going to see the result is a picture or a photograph inside the block text. Now these are separate for each other, so you can go and grab the um, subset selection tool. They call it the group selection tool. And I can move, for instance, the photo around to get maybe just the right area of dune inside my text. Uh, and go back to the regular selection tool. And when you click on it, it'll select both items and move it around the view. That's how you create text clipping masks.